Unless I'm singing in the spirit. If I'm singing in the spirit, I, I can move into the interpretation at, all the time. All the time. It, it's wonderful. You can practice that at home. You there watching. You can this is the hour, says the Lord. This is the hour of my power. <clears throat> and I choose to use you. I choose to use you. <laughs> well, you've got, you know, Hebrews 5 talks about exercising your spiritual sense, senses, yes. the spiritual gifts. Yes. The, the body of Christ is just kind of like, it's been in slumber about what's available to them through the power of the Holy Ghost. And fear of man. Yes. Wake up, church. <clears throat> okay, verse 6. <clears throat> now, brothers, if I come to you speaking with tongues, what shall I profit you? Except I shall speak to you either by revelation, knowledge, prophesying, or by doctrine. So, this is if, you know, I walked up to, say, I didn't know Laverne, and I went, Kanura bashi ni She goes, huh? Say what? She's got to be able to understand what I'm saying. So, <laughs> yes, so right. I'm going to speak in our own language <laughs> uh, in a public setting unless I've got an interpretation. This is what he's trying to say. And he says, even things without life, <clears throat> giving sound, whether pipe, harp, except they give a distinction of the sounds, how shall it be known what is piped or harped? I have a little note here. Some people should pipe down. <laughs> because they're harping too much. <laughs> For if the trumpet gives an uncertain sound, who shall prepare himself to the battle? So this is the thing. God's trying to, you know, rally the troops. He's trying to, the uh, army of the hosts of heaven is trying to, you know, prepare the army for battle. So he's trying to get across what he's trying to say. And he's looking for people who are hearing and are willing to speak forth what it is. Either through tongues of interpretation, which is a nickel plus a nickel, or through prophesying, which is a dime. So, likewise, except you utter by the tongue words easy to be understood, how shall we know what's spoken for you speak into the air? There are, it may be, so many kinds of voices in the world, and none of them's without signification. Therefore, if I don't know the meaning of the voice, I'll be to him that speaks a barbarian <coughs> or um, a um, foreigner, and he that speaks shall be foreigner or barbarian to me. Even so, for as much as your zealous and spiritual gifts seek that you may excel to the edifying of the church. How is the church edified? By the dying, prophesying, or by tongues and interpretation, right. which is two nickels. <laughs> <clears throat> seek to excel for the edification of the church. So what's every believer supposed to be doing? Seeking to prophesy or to give tongues and interpretation. Every believer, I wish that you all spoke with other tongues. The more you pray in the Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. in your private time, the more God will use you publicly to move in the gifts in a public setting. Because he knows that you have learned how to yield your tongue to the Holy Spirit, the only one that can tame it. You'll know that you're trustworthy, that you are seeking his face. You're wanting to spend quality time with him. You're enjoying the presence of his presence. And you're learning how to practice that presence all the mm -hmm. day long. And then he's going to open doors for you in a public setting so that you will be his mouthpiece to the church that he's wanting to build up so badly. He's longing to speak to the church. And he wants us to have hearing ears. What the Spirit of the Lord is speaking. How many times does it say that in Revelations 2 and 3? He that has ears to hear, let him hear what the Spirit of the Lord is speaking to the church. <laughs> Who does the speaking? Hallelujah. He does. Wait. Well, we're coming back here, I just want to zoom over at John for one second. Um, John 16. John 16, because this is why being filled with the Holy Spirit is so critical and staying full. Mm -hmm. um, John 16. John 16, verse 13, <laughs> says, and the King James, albeit when he, the spirit of truth, has come, he'll guide you into all truth. He'll not speak to himself, but whatever he shall hear, that shall he speak. And 
he'll show you things to come. He'll glorify me, for he shall receive of mine and show it to you. All things the Father has is mine, are mine, therefore I said, he'll take up what's mine and show it to you. Remember that, that verse in Psalms 147 about showing? Mm -hmm. He wants to show, he's a demonstrator. But anyways, okay, the Amplified says, when he, the spirit of truth, the truth-giving spirit comes, he'll guide you into all the truth, the whole, full truth, the full gospel. Ooh, we're going to go to Romans 15 in a moment. <clears throat> the whole, full truth. <clears throat> he'll not speak his own message on his own authority. He'll tell whatever he hears from the Father. He'll give the message that's been given to him, and he wants us to be just like him, too. Oh, you know, we're supposed to be as he is in this world. Uh, so we're supposed to hear, and we're supposed to give the message. And he'll announce and declare to you things that are to come that will happen in the future. Mm -hmm. Verse 14 in the Amplified is so wonderful. He'll honor and glorify me because he'll take up, receive, draw upon what's mine, and reveal, declare, disclose, and transmit it to you. Everything the Father has is mine. Mm -hmm. That's what I meant when I said that the Spirit will take the things that are mine and reveal, declare, disclose, and transmit it to you. Now, I personally, I love all those translations, but I particularly like the transmitting part. The Holy Ghost is the transmitter. He hears from heaven, he talks to your spirit, mm -hmm. you hear in your spirit, and you speak it after a month. A lot of times, you know, if we think about it for too long, we'll stop it, and we'll quench the spirit, and we won't speak it out. He, you know, I've never, you know, the, those prophet guys, and <laughs> God gave, was it Chuck Pierce a word, and Chuck, yeah. He told Chuck, he said, uh, you know, say what I'm saying and don't think about it. <laughs> that sheets was up. So Chuck ran up, grabbed the mic, said, you know, which was an amazing prophecy, and then they both looked at each other and went. <laughs> it was about that guy being discovered. I said, sit down, uh, Dutch Sheets, you know, the prophet Dutch Sheets was up speaking, and, and they got this thing, uh, Chuck Pierce, if Chuck gets a word from the Lord, he just has to let um, Dutch know and Dutch will give him the microphone. So all of a sudden, Dutch is saying something, and, and Chuck runs up and grabs a mic from his hand, and he prophesied. He said, "The Lord, thus saith the Lord, within the next week, Saddam Hussein, the Lord's going to shine a light on him, and he's going to reveal his hiding place, and the seventh army, or the fourth army, or whatever, will find him. And, he, and then he gave the microphone back to, to um, Dutch Sheets, and Dutch says, What? Then he said, I mean, God wants us all to move into this in, place of accuracy and holy boldness. The next week, no, with, bold. the next week yeah. within the next week within four days, the the seventh army and the fourth army found Saddam Hussein in a hole. So that's how, you know, it may it, it may sound ridiculous, but Chuck said, "I've learned to hear the voice of the Lord, and I've learned that when He talks to me, I'm going to get up and risk." losing my reputation to give the word of the Lord. Yeah. And, and he did. And then that next week, it was incredible. Mm -hmm. It was right on. So the Holy Ghost is a transmitter. And you and I are supposed to be transmitters too. We are supposed to hear and obey. Hear and obey. Hear and obey. Pass on yeah. the word that the Lord's given us. Hallelujah. And we're praying in our private prayer language. We'll always be, you know, building ourselves up in our most holy faith. Right. We're praying in the Holy Ghost, June 20. Keeping ourselves in the love of God so that we'll be ready to give an answer to those that are desperately, you know, dying of thirst out there in the wilderness. The mm -hmm. rivers of living water will flow through us. The, the fire of God will move through us. I mean, all these things are types and shadows of the Holy Spirit. The mm -hmm. oil, the ceaseless supply of oil mm -hmm. will minister to the needs, bind up the brokenhearted. You know, 